So, now that we have our security policies in place to limit what data users can access, what if we want our platform to have admins, and as a result, we want these admins to be able to access all of the data? Well, that's where roles come in. Now, when we connected the Superbase authentication plugin, we had WeWeb automatically generate the user roles table and the roles table. Now, these two tables essentially dictate what roles exist in our app and then what roles are assigned to which users. So, for example, in the roles table, by default, we have the admin role and the user role. And then in the user's roles table, we'll link a certain role to a certain user. And so in order to do this, we're going to need to use something called a trigger. Now, a trigger basically runs when something happens. And so in our case, whenever a user is created, we're going to want to create a record in the user's roles table that links them to the appropriate role. And the role we want to link them to, by default, will be the user role. Now, like the security level policies, the easiest way to do this is to actually just prompt WeWeb AI to create it for us. So I'll prompt WeWeb AI to do so. So that query will be created. So I can deploy it. And now I can go through the workflow to test this. So I'll go to my sign up page. I'll put it into preview and sign up. And so if I now check Superbase and go into the authentication tab, I can see I've been created as a user. And if I go to my database and I go into the user's roles table, I can see a record has been created for my user ID and I've been assigned the user role because this role ID links to the user record. And so if I wanted to assign myself as an admin, the easiest way to do this in truth is to manually do this inside of Superbase. And so if I go into the user's roles table, I can simply just change my role ID to be the admin record. And so I've now assigned myself as an admin. And so the next step to create the admin privileges is to set up row level security on the marketing tasks table so that admins have the necessary privileges to access and edit all of the data. So that query has been generated and I can deploy it. And so now, since I've assigned my account to be an admin, when I refresh the page in WeWeb, I should retrieve and see all of the marketing task records. And so when I refresh the page, I can see I have access to all of the records in the marketing tasks table. However, if I switch back to Superbase and I go into the user's roles table and I once again change my role to be that of a user, when I go into WeWeb and I refresh the page, I should now see no records because there's no records that belong to my user account. So when I refresh, I can see it's an empty list and I'm not allowed to access any of the data that doesn't belong to my user account. 